Hey everyone, so I wanted to share um, a new hairstyle with you. Um, this is a braid that I might have invented because I can't find it anywhere else on the web. If you've seen this braid before and you know the name of it, um, please leave me a comment and let me know what it is. Um, otherwise, I'm claiming this braid as my own that I invented it because I can't find it anywhere on the web at all whatsoever. So um, I started doing my hair for today. I have a shift at work tonight. The name of this braid I like to call the river because it's going to uh, wind in between and you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. What you're going to do is separate your hair in two pieces okay and you're going to make sure that it's going to be in the back because we want our hair away from the food so like i said before i work in the food industry you have to have your hair away from the food so you're gonna make uh two ponytails one on one side one on the other side Pull it tight. Start with the other side. Try to make sure it's even on both sides. That feels good. Make sure it's down low enough so when you put your hat on, it's not going to bump into your braids. Okay, so the river. What you're gonna do is split into three sections, okay? And try to make them as even as possible. It's very important that you do that. All right, we got one I'm gonna like flip in the back. The other one, we're just gonna leave right here. This one's one we're gonna work on. And you're gonna do a normal braid, a three string braid with this piece. Very simple, very easy. Okay, when you think it's skinny enough, I mean, don't worry about this part right here. I always loop it at the end, it looks nice, so don't worry about that. Um, you can tie it off with a, a band or you can go, you can open it up a little high here, put that in between and flip it around inside of there and it'll usually stay long enough at least for you to get done what you want to get done. Now the middle piece, you're going to leave that alone. The one that we flipped in the back, you're going to grab that and you're going to make that into a three string braid as well. Is this a fast and easy braid? Depends on how much time you have. Um, if you're in a hurry, then I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do this because you can see how long this is taking. It depends on how fast you braid. Tie this one off. Or if this works for you, flip it like I'm doing so that it will stay long enough for us to do what we want to do now. With these two braids and with this string here in the middle, you're going to leave this alone and you're going to braid these three together. Okay. And I, I like to go over instead of under with the braids. So the braids are on top at the very top. I like that. So it's going to be like, kind of like under an under braid. I don't know if that's the right term for it or not but you braid that all the way down. And you definitely want to tie this off. You don't want to just flip it and put it in the middle because um, if you're moving around a lot, like in the food industry, if you're moving around a lot and if it comes loose, 
that's going to be a problem for your work area and your boss is not going to be very happy that your hair has come undone in the middle of your shift. So make sure you tie it off. And I always like to leave a little loop at the end. It just, it looks nicer than pulling all the way through and it's like, just like, I don't know, poker straight. So, so you can see what I'm talking about. The river braid, that strand that we did not braid is kind of like winding around like a river in between the two other braids. Let's do a, a better close up with it. You can see that the one that I didn't braid is just weaving in and out like a winding river. And it's just, it's very unique. I've never, I've been trying to look for it online. I can't find it, so. If I didn't invent it, then I apologize to the person who did invent the braid and please give me the name of it. So the same thing on the other side. And I know um, my hair is kind of thin. It's not thick, so it's kind of hard to like go all the way down without it being like tremendously skinny. I wish I had thicker hair. I used to have thick hair and then I got old. Getting old sucks. And kids, when you have kids, your hair fall out, literally. My hair fell fell out and like a lot more than, than usual when I was pregnant. They, I think that's why they recommend a prenatal vitamin. It's not just for the baby, it's for you as well because that baby's gonna take from your body whatever it needs to grow inside of your body. And if you don't take care of your body, that baby, it doesn't know. It just knows this is what I need and this is what I'm taking. Okay, now we're gonna braid all three. With your band, try to make it even on each side. And there we go. It's pretty even. I mean, it's not like exactly even, but I mean, it's close enough. So there you go. You have your two braids in the back. You put your hat on and you're good to go. And it's super cute. I like it. And it can even be up here for your shift. It's it's out of the way. It's wrapped up and out of the way. There it is. The river. Hope you liked it. Uh, try it out. Again, if you know that this bird has already been invented, please give me the name of it. Otherwise, I am claiming it. This is the river braid. Invented by yours truly. See you next time. Bye.